what's up guys? Matt here with the Traveling Prospector. All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I smelt down gold. Now, I'm not actually gonna be physically smelting it down in this video. I'm just gonna talk about how I had success smelting it down in the past. Well, I do not recommend that you try to melt it down with a propane torch because I have wasted a whole bottle of gas before and essentially I have got nowhere with it. Now, the map gas, I have also wasted quite a bit of map gas before trying to melt down gold too and pretty much got nowhere as well. Now, I do know that the map gas will melt down gold. This will probably work right here, but it really just depends how much you're trying to smelt down. But in the past, I have tried to smelt down gold in this pot right here, half an ounce with that map gas right there, and it took forever. What actually ended up happening was it melted down halfway, it got all stuck together, and it wanted to turn into a liquid form, so I couldn't get it all melted together and turn it into a button. Uh, that was quite a bit, a little bit of a scary situation because I had all my gold that was stuck to the bottom of the crucible pot, but then it wouldn't melt together and make one big glob. So I ended up buying this oxyacetylene torch right here, and it works out great. But like I said, I don't melt down any more than half an ounce of gold at a time, otherwise it just takes too long. Now, you probably heard, maybe some of you guys have heard to use borax for a flux. I'll tell you guys the truth, I don't even like to use a flux when I melt down gold, and I'll show you why. This is why I don't like to melt down gold with the flux. You see all that black stuff on the bottom of the pot? There's actually gold still stuck to the bottom there, you can see that right there. There's a piece right there. And there's gold scattered through all this stuff right here. And what I have found, I actually regret using the borax over there. The borax is a pretty common flux out there. I've only used the borax, so I can't speak for the other stuff, but it's probably the same deal. Now, I've taken the torch, and I have tried to melt all that black stuff out of the pot, and I haven't got anywhere with it. It pretty much just gets all gummy and just sticks to the bottom of the pot. So, guys, I don't even use flux anymore when I melt down gold. I just pour the gold down at the bottom of the pot. I set my torch up, and as far as dialing in the torch, it will probably take you just a little while messing around with it until you actually can figure out how to get your flame set just right. All you really have to do for the oxygen is you just have to crack it a little bit. You don't have to open it all the way up. And then over here is the one that you open up a little bit more. It takes a little bit getting used to. It took me a little bit. But eventually, you'll figure out how to get that flame right there. And once you have that flame right there, it's a pretty simple concept. You put your gold down here, and I don't recommend that you try to melt down any more than half an ounce at a time. Because if you try to melt down any more than half an ounce at a time, I haven't had real good success with it. It takes a lot longer. If you want to try, try more, you can go for it. But I would say if you had an ounce of gold that you wanted to melt down, you're better off making two melts. So I do not recommend that you use the flux. I know there's probably some people out there that might frown upon that, but I'm telling you, I have melted down gold plenty of times without using any flux or anything like that. I wish I never had that stuck in the pot right there because every time I melt down gold in this crucible now, it gets some of that black crap caught on it. I actually thought about buying a new crucible pot just so I could start all over fresh again and not have to worry about that crap being down in there. But I keep using this one because that's the one that I got. All right, guys, there really is not a whole lot to smell down gold. You're just going to have to have a torch that gets over 1,200 degrees. I think that's right around where gold melts. Um, I'll throw something up on the screen right here, and we'll find that out for facts. Like I said, guys, if you're going to try this, I highly recommend that you don't use a propane torch because it's not going to work. The map, the yellow gas, the map gas, it will melt down gold, but it takes a lot longer. Um, the best setup that I have, honestly, is this setup right here, the oxy and the map setup, the oxy acetylene. That was the only thing that I could get to work for me. So guys, that's why I recommend that you get the oxy acetylene torch if you're going to try this. But then again, I was melting down half an ounce of gold at a time. So if you're melting down just little bits of gold, like a gram or two, the map gas is probably going to be fine. But once you get a lot more in there, you're going to want something that can really put the heat to it. So that's the reason that I went and got the torch. Alright guys, that is how I smelt down gold. I hope this video can be a help to somebody. And I am going to go ahead and throw a couple links in the description on the bottom. I'll throw the torch in here and the crucible pot. And yes, I do earn a small commission on that. And that helps keep the channel going. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.